Here's why Yuki Tsunoda could lose his 2024 F1 seat, all because Alex Albon had appendicitis at the 2022 Italian Grand Prix. Now, I know that's the kind of bizarre nonsense you might expect from the mouth of Helmut Marco, but before you call me crazy, well, just hear me out. You see, back in 2022 at the Italian Grand Prix, Alex Albon fell ill with appendicitis, meaning he'd have to miss the race. And with one of the most useless excuses for an F1 driver in the other car, well, for any hope of a good result, Williams would have to look elsewhere. And as it just so happened, there was the perfect option available to step in. A former Junior Series winner, someone with experience around the F1 grid, and a Dutch world champion. I am, of course, talking about Nick de Vries, who stepped in for Williams and put in a great performance picking up points on debut, which then meant that when AlphaTauri needed a driver for next year, they snapped him up to race alongside Yuki Tsunoda. That was until we actually got to 2023 and found out that when it came to driving F1 cars, well, he wasn't actually any good. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's a good chance that my dog could have done a better job. And so, just 10 races in, he was replaced by Daniel Ricciardo, who you know was doing pretty well, until he chose to spare Oscar Piastri and sacrifice his left hand instead while practicing at Zandvoort. And so, that leads us to almost now, where Liam Lawson was drafted in to replace Ricciardo until he was fit again. And so far, he's been doing a pretty good job, and in all honesty, it's not really a surprise. You see, over the past few years, Lawson has been collecting up entries in different series like he's Thanos collecting Infinity Stones, as over just the past few seasons, he's won the Toyota Racing Series, finished 5th in Formula 3, finished 9th and then 3rd in Formula 2, all while effectively winning the DTM Championship had he not been screwed over in the final race, and he's currently sat in 2nd place in his first ever season of Super Formula, not forgetting that he took over the role of Red Bull and AlphaTauri reserve after Yuri Vips pressed the self-destruct button on his career. And so now, with Ricardo's injury, he's up in F1 partnering Yuki Tsunoda, someone who everyone said was doing amazingly well at the start of the season. Probably helped by the fact that his teammate didn't really know how to drive an F1 car, but still, Yuki was good. But after the past three races, it's been anything but good for Yuki, with Lawson finishing ahead in all three events and even picking up two points in Singapore, which, for perspective, is only one less than Sonoda for the entire season. Now, admittedly, Yuki hasn't finished two of the past three races through no fault of his own. In Monza, the car gave up before even finishing the formation lap, and then in Singapore, Sergio Perez channeled his inner Daniel Kvyat to take Yuki out the race. But okay then, let's take a look at qualifying. Does that look any better for Yuki? To be honest, not really. As although Sonoda qualified better in the Netherlands, as Lawson got a singular hour of practice in the car, in Monza, the pair qualified right next to each other in 11th and 12th, before Lawson then went and outqualified Yuki in Singapore, also knocking out Max Verstappen in Q2 in the process. And as previously mentioned on the Sunday, it got even better for Liam, legitimately finishing P9, just one place behind Checo. And so now, all of this performing well, it's causing Red Bull some headaches, as it seems they never really know what to do with the driver once they've proven themselves to be, well, not completely useless. And this is where I'm a little worried for Yuki Tsunoda, as despite still being young and definitely steadily improving, well, he's no Max Verstappen, which in the eyes, or more accurately, eye of Red Bull, means that, well, he's expendable. It's also clear how much Daniel Ricciardo is loved at Red Bull, and I'm 100% convinced that the two most annoying men in F1 really want him back partnering Verstappen, which means that, unfortunately for Yuki and Liam, they'll probably want to keep him in the junior team even though he's the fourth oldest driver on the grid. And so that leaves Sonoda and Lawson to fight over that second seat. Now, Yuki is only just a year older than Liam. However, with nearly three years F1 experience, he hasn't exactly set the sport alight. Whereas with Lawson, you effectively reset the odds and have someone that may well come in and be much better. I mean, if he's beating Yuki after three races, what's he gonna be like after three years? And so that's where my worry for Yuki comes in as if the team do want Ricardo around, then they're forced to pick between the other two. And for me at least, well, I pick Lawson. And well, if Helmut and Christian agree, and that did happen, then I can safely say the root cause of Sonoda losing his seat was in fact most definitely Alex Albon's appendicitis and absolutely nothing else. Anyway, that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this little short video. If you have, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on the channel. But until next time, take care.